Hi, my name is Javier Martinez and I'm from the Hyde Park Jazz Fest and we're here today with uh, Dee Alexander. Hi, I'm Dee Alexander and I will be performing on September 26th, is, it, is the right yes. day, right? Yes, 26th. <laughs> at the Hyde Park Jazz Festival on the James Wagner stage at 6 p.m. with the Metropolitan Jazz Octet. Hope to see you there. How does, how does your story start? How did my story start? Yeah. Well, it started with my mother. <laughs> my <laughs> mother course, started yeah. all of this, you know. Uh -huh. um, and my mother always had, and she still does to this day, she always had music playing in the house. You know, Miles Davis, of all of the classics, Sarah Vaughn, mm -hmm. Ella Fitzgerald, Nina Simone. And um, so I was raised on this, this classic music that we call jazz. Learned to love it at a very early age. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's surprising to see some youth now like enjoying jazz. You know what I mean? And you know I I admire that. So um, why did you pick voice, or did voice pick you? I, it, or, you know what I mean? I was just getting ready to say that it's it picked me. <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved music, and I I, I remember as a child. Um, you know, listening to the soul stations, yeah. and I would sing along with the singers and what have you. Uh, I loved how free it was, you yeah. know, how you could take so many different chances, and there was no, everything was good, everything yeah. was right. Mm -hmm. um, and I selected voice, I guess, because from listening to the great vocals of the, of the era, yeah. Sarah Vaughn and Nina Simone and, and Ella Fitzgerald, yeah. all women that have paved the way for mm -hmm. me and other vocalists of course i love telling stories and i love listening to stories and i think that's what drew me into becoming a vocalist right or right being a vocalist not yeah, becoming but being a vocalist <laughs> uh were you ever part of like a a church choir or something like that oh yeah i um i worked with several choirs um in high school i worked with andrew jackson and the chicago youth choir oh check that out and I also had the great opportunity to travel with a wonderful lady by the name of Sue Conway who passed on. Um, she had a group called the Victory Singers. The Victory Singers, okay. And during the holidays, we would go and travel throughout Europe right. yeah. singing gospel. It was one of the oh, best experiences man. I've ever had. Yeah, yeah. I, I love gospel music. Oh, it's yeah. like the, the organ on it. It's like, it's, mm -hmm. it's so nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Recently, uh, Kanye West, I don't know if you are aware of him. Uh-huh. But oh, yeah, I'm, he, a, I'm aware of a Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped an album, Donda. Yes. And uh, there's a song on there called 24. And it's so, like, the style is just straight gospel. Oh, it's really? Awesome. Oh, okay, man. I have to check that yeah, out. Yeah, check it out. It's, it's definitely a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, like, uh, on what we're going to see at, like, at the fest? Well, I, I've had the wonderful opportunity to work and record with, with a group called the Metropolitan Jazz Octet. Um, eight very wonderful, beautiful gentlemen who just so happen to be phenomenal musicians, and they're my friends. Nice. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. Jim Galloretto, who's kind of like co-leading um, with another gentleman, John Cornegay, mm -hmm. he reached out to me about doing a project and so we all love Billie Holiday yeah so we were doing music of Billie Holiday it's called it's too hot for words mm -hmm. so we got together and selected um, it was interesting because we had a listening session deciding which songs we would do right yeah and so my aim is always reaching for obscure music to introduce people to yeah but you, you can't go too far from that with that because you have to put in the classics that people are really accustomed to. So I think we have a nice mix of the obscure and the classic songs mm -hmm. that Billy made famous. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, we went into the studio, we recorded it, and it's such a beautiful project. Oh, so, sure, yeah. But to hear it live, it's, I think that Billy yeah. would approve. Oh yeah, I actually. My mother certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, did sit down and listen to that, uh, the Metropolitan Jazz. The uh, Metropolitan Jazz Octet, also octet. known as MJO. Right, yeah, I actually <laughs> sat down and listened to it. Uh, uh -huh. uh, my teacher, Doug Bistro, actually uh, told me, he's like, you know, you should check it out. Let's uh, see if you like it. And, I was and like, what did you think? Oh, it was good. It was good. I really enjoyed it. So much, Thank you. So much element to a group, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's let's move away a little from music. Uh, what are your hobbies? Like, what do you like to do besides you know, music? Oh, gosh. Well, 
I can't think of anything else other than no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love shopping. No, no shoes. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, it's, that's a hobby, right? <laughs> well, you know, one of the things that I really like to do, and what I would really like to do, I was just telling a friend of mine. I've always been an artistic individual. I was always sketching and painting, yeah. um, and sewing. And with the pandemic, uh, I find myself having a little bit more time to do those things that I yeah. didn't have time to do before. Oh, yeah. So I've been doing a little, little painting, a little sketching here and there. Haven't gotten around to the sewing yet because I need to get a sewing machine. <laughs> of course, but I yeah. have tons of ideas in terms of, you know, creating garments. Yeah. So those are some of the things that I like to do. And of course, I, I'm, I'm, I love reading mm -hmm. and writing. And uh, I've spent been spending a lot of time creating and writing new music as well. Okay. Yeah. You know, because, you know, everyone has a story to tell. And I have quite a few. So, you know, of you course, put it down, yeah. you know, put it to music and present it. Yeah. You oh, know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever thought about crocheting? You know, I tried crocheting. It's not. It's it wasn't not, my thing. No, no. no it wasn't my thing. Uh, and I love cooking. Oh yeah, I love yeah, to yeah. Cook. Okay, okay. It's you know, it's I think about the word improvisation, mm -hmm. and that word is basically for me how I go through my life improvising, because you know you have to always be ready for a curveball to be thrown in. Of course. You know, yeah. you think, oh, okay, I'm gonna walk this straight line today. Mm -hmm. No, that's not you it's, know, because a curve will yeah. come in and you. And you have to adjust and adapt to that. It's like jazz. Jazz, is there's, there's a bunch of curveballs in that song. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's how I live my life. I kind of improvise throughout my life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I plan my day and I try to say A, B, C, D, I'm going to do this, going to do that. But sometimes something will come in and I'll, oh, I'll deviate. Work around, yeah. Detour this way, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it makes, it makes the day and my life very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, back into music now. Okay. Um, if it wasn't voice, what instrument would you pick? I would be a bassist. Bassist? Why? Either, either a bassist or a cellist. Okay. Um, I, it, it's interesting because when I write, when I compose my, uh, my, my music, I always start with the bass. Oh, yeah. The bass line is what I start with. It's like the foundation. The core, yeah. The it's beginning. Like, mm -hmm. You know, it sets the tone for the the rest of the, yeah. of the music. Um, and I just love, the, as even with the cello, it's closest, the closest sound to the human voice. Mm -hmm. So It's a rich sound, it, yeah. Yeah, very rich sound. And I, it, uh, uh, Junius Paul is one of my one of the yeah. bassists that I love. Also Harrison Bankhead, mm -hmm. uh, two phenomenal bassists. And you'll hear Jeremiah Hunt today, who's another bassist that I love. But I always gravitate towards that low, rich yeah, yeah. sound. The qualities you know. and serves and everything. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And the foundation. It's the of foundation course. of the music, yeah. Wow, yeah, well, anyway, thank you so much, D. Alexander. Oh, you're welcome. Yes. Thank um, you so much. Thank you for uh, giving us your time and and I look I, forward to seeing you at the festival. For sure, yes. Yeah. I look forward to listening to your show. <laughs> thank you. So, yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome.